<laughs> my narrative about how I got to this lofty position I'm in today at 71 years old. Tell you young folks, maybe you y'all have had day jobs. I'm sure you have. I was a salesman. I was going door to door, selling no soliciting signs. <laughs> and I lost my job and uh, moved into my car for real, moved into my car and became a life coach. So uh, that's what I'm all about. I'm about the reframing. I could say, I could say, um, I'm broke. Or I could say, no, man, I'm having an out of money experience. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And all the, I can do this at Buck. I want to, uh, I want to sell my book for you and have all the money go to the organization. Thank Anybody you. That's that? awesome. All right. Well, like, uh, here it is. I've been following this guy for years. Uh, here it is. In fact, fondle the fear. Fondle the fear. It's it's a reframe book about turning your fear into power. Uh, better, um, better sex, better marriage, better divorce, and uh, it's a three step method. And it's a re, you know it just reframes that thing. It does what Buck Owens is doing for all of us. He's like like what he said. We're on our wave to the future right now, doing this, and this is what it's about. And like if you're really depressed, I mean y'all are young. You're well, okay, Chris and. Jim. I'm not young. And no, no, you're not. okay. This side of this side of the room, on my this side of the screen, very young. Y'all look <laughs> so attractive and beautiful. Don't ever lose that. You guys, just look at them. And um, so, the thing, the way this works, this reframe book works, is you turn your fear into power. Like, I mean, how screwed is our public education system. I went to college for free and just threw it away, man. Really, I went to uh, here at UCSC in 1968. That was a real year. I went in 1968, I went to UCSC and then I transferred then to Sacramento State College. And then I got into uh, American River Junior College. And then uh, I went to Rio Americana High School for a while, but I recently got my GED. But anyway, I, um, I there I was. And, and I did it for free and I threw it away. I threw it away. I decided, Mr. Bennett, it was, maybe you've made this, you're so good, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be fine. But I decided to drop out of college and become a professional folk singer. Yeah, that led to a lot of construction work, I'll tell you. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I know how to swing a shovel, people. That's literally. <laughs> shoveling shit now i'll tell you about that in a minute uh literally i am that's what i do i like to take care of nine arabian horses but let me get back to that the three-step method all the money for this is going to go to buck owens buck and buck no let's make it buck evans <laughs> can't get out of bakersfield baby <laughs> i got a cousin been married three times and he's always had the same in-laws i mean it's that kind of place so, <laughs> So, so this book will change your life. Look at how it changed mine. I got a drink. Okay. So, um, yeah, like, so California public education, I mean, how pissed off are we about what's happened here? We, we could say California public education is 49th in the nation. Or we could say, thank God for Alabama. Yeah. Mm. So it's not only a, uh, this is not only a, a reframe book that will change your life. It's also a dance book. Let me see if you. Oh uh, yeah, baby. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, Hannah, I see, into it. I see you're getting into it. That's the weeble wobble, baby. Oh man, not enough room to dance. Okay, all right. Uh, and uh, all the money is going to go to Buck. Um, I sell them for ten dollars, and it was a short run. They actually cost twelve dollars to print each one. For every time you don't buy one, I make two dollars. <laughs> but today you can get it's ten bucks, and today you can get an autographed copy for nine ninety-five, and all the money goes to the. The B-A-A-E-C dot org. Yeah. 
I'm sure uh, they're going to have a tax problem after that. Okay. Man, look at that. Look at us sitting here. All walks of life, all different kind of persuasions. I've never seen a, a more diverse community of white people. <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah. um, it's okay to be white. That's what we are. You couldn't help it. Oh, my, my internet connection is unstable. What are the odds? <laughs> um, so... Back in the day, of course, uh, come on, I was trying to look like Keith Richards, totally. Now, I'm trying not to look like Keith Richards. <laughs> uh, my wife, I got to tell you a little, just, a, just a, a sidebar about the wife, wife Julie. I have a stunningly beautiful, brilliant woman I'm married to who uh, lives in San Diego while I'm here. But she is, uh, yeah, she's half Italian and half Chardonnay. Uh, she calls us Weedo and Wino. That's what it's called. And, uh, my wife, she's a scientist. <laughs> Seriously. She's a scientist. And she told me that moving at the speed of light is when you take a bottle of wine out of the refrigerator before the light comes on. So uh, anyway, <laughs> the, night, the other night, she's, she's talking. She's telling me, Rich, this is like before the 15th. I was down there and she goes, hey, Richard. Let's run upstairs as fast as we can and then make violent love. And I said, baby, one or the other. <laughs> I'm fucking one years old. No, uh, we, we take care of our health and I, I, you all sheltering in place to do this. And, and uh, God bless you for that. You're staying home for me. I'm staying home for you. And we're, we're going to get through this. I'd like to say we've seen worse things, but no, we haven't. This is no. I have, that, I, 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 um, my father, my father fell out of bed and broke his hip. I don't know if that's ever happened to any of y'all. But and, and that's the reason why. I take Viagra every night. I take Viagra nightly, like to keep from rolling out of bed. <laughs> Am I done? No, keep going. Uh, yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs>